It's been two days now since I came to the Institute. I still haven't decided whether I want to stay or not. But Bobby Drake sure makes it seem awfully inviting. It was exciting hearing about the X-Men's adventures at the Harp facility in Alaska. Part of me wishes I could have gone with them. I guess I'm getting caught up in all this X-Men superhero business. Hello, Allison. You're looking most excellent today, but then you look most excellent every day. Can you tell me anything more about the X-Men's trip to the Harp facility? Yeah, I guess there was a lot of equipment at the facility that had nothing to do with studying the Aurora Borealis. So if they aren't studying the sky, what are they doing? Professor X thinks the government might be using it as a high-tech headquarters for storing sensitive information, stuff they don't want regular people to know about. You know, things like Area 51, The Man on the Grassy Knoll, old disco songs from the 70s. Who is that Toad guy they brought back? Toad? He's a member of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? Is he dangerous? Only to himself. The Brotherhood treats him like a court jester, always playing tricks on him. Why he puts up with all their abuse is beyond me. I heard someone say Toad mentioned Sentinels. What's a Sentinel? They're mutant hunting machines. But the government shut that program down years ago. I'm sure Toad's just talking smack. See you later, Bobby. See you later, beautiful. Hey, you're that new girl everyone's talking about. What's your name again? I'm Allison Crestmere. I got here just a few days ago. Right. Good to meet you, Allison. And you are? The name's Jubilation Lee, but everyone around here calls me Jubilee. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, I wanted to be called Rogue, but that code name was already taken. Really? <laughs> no, not really. Where are you from? I was born in Beverly Hills, California. Then my parents died, so I spent some time at a juvie hall in L.A. But I had a lot of run-ins with the management, so I took off and lived in a Hollywood mall. That must have been terrible. Yeah, it was kind of a rough time. But the mall was cool. I mean, you know, I swiped whatever I needed. And I got real good at keeping two steps ahead of those lame-o security guards. Then the mall went and hired a bunch of mutant hunters to track me down. Luckily, Storm, Psylocke, Rogue, and Dazzler were shopping there that day. Where are you from? I was born in Beverly Hills, California. Then my parents died, so I spent some time- That must have- Yeah, it was kind of- Then the mall- So you're a mutant? Nah, I'm the gardener. Oh, my mistake. You look like a student. <laughs> Jeez, Allison, you'll believe anything, won't you? Hey, I'm new here. I don't know anybody. Okay, okay, cool your jets, I'm just playing with you. Of course I'm a mutant. What's your mutant power? I generate this really bright energy from my hands. It's great for temporarily blinding people. And what's even cooler is, I can make it explode. No way! Yep, I call them fireworks. So, what's your mutant power? I can make people's heads explode. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> oh, good one. Yeah, looks like you and me are gonna get along just fine. I'll see you later, Jubilee. See you around, Allison.
Hello, little girl. Come to talk to Toad, have you? I... I don't know if I should. Come now, dearie. Surely you're not frightened of poor old Toad. No. I I'm not afraid of you. Is Toad really your name? No. My real name's more than my toyin' be. But they call me Toad because of how I look. Say, would you mind letting me out of here for a few ticks? Just to stretch me legs? Not if you gave me a million dollars. Oh, come on now. I promise to be good. Why do you put up with all that abuse from the Brotherhood? You see, the Brotherhood took me in when no one else would. They're me family, and I'm sticking with them. No matter how many times a sod ditch me. But you could leave the Brotherhood, and maybe even join the X-Men. Me? An X-Man? That'll happen the day the devil needs a snow shovel. <laughs> so, how's about opening this cell? It's mighty crabbed in here. There's no way I'm letting you out. What does the Brotherhood want with me? I wish I could tell you, love, but I don't know nothing. Cross me heart and hope to die. You know, if you give me some information, I'd speak to Professor Xavier about letting you out of there for a little bit. Oh! In that case, Mystique wanted you as part of some plan of hers. And when she couldn't snatch you away, she was plenty mad. Well, that's all I really know. I'm leaving. I'm sure there's something else I should be doing. Uh, do talk to the Professor. See if he can find it in his heart to let poor old Toe go free. Allison, I didn't mean to spy on you, but surveillance cameras showed you were talking with Toad. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Should I not talk to Toad? I suppose it's okay. But you have to be very careful. Toad can be sneaky when the mood suits him. Yeah, he seems to think he can talk me into letting him out of the brig. <sighs> I said he was sneaky, not bright. Who was that woman who tried to kidnap me in New York City? Her name is Raven Darkholm, but she currently calls herself Mystique. She's a very talented shapeshifter and can assume the form of anyone she sees. For all I know, right now, you could be Mystique in disguise. But don't worry. I'm pretty sure you're you. Is she in charge of the Brotherhood? She's really more of a second in command. But for the past few years, yeah, she's been in control. Why did Mystique come after me? Professor Xavier is convinced that Mystique and the Brotherhood are up to no good. The problem is, all we can do is wait until the Brotherhood tips their hand. But what use could I be to them? We don't know. But you must have been a very important piece of the plan for Mystique to attempt to kidnap you in broad daylight. Thanks for the info, Cyclops. Anytime, Allison. Hello, Allison. I was hoping to see you today. Hi, Professor Xavier. How are you? I'm not sure. Being able to generate lava kind of freaks me out. That's understandable. I wanted to let you know that I've decided. 
I'd like to become a student at your school. That's excellent news, Allison. You've made a very wise choice. Thank you, sir. The Institute does seem to be the best place for me. At least, for now. Now that you're a student, I'd like very much to test your mutant abilities. Test my abilities? You mean in the danger room? Yes, if you don't mind. But what if I fail? There is no grade for this test. It's merely a means to measure the full extent of your powers. That way we'll know better how to deal with your particular needs. Okay. I'll try. But don't expect much. Don't worry, Allison. Just do your best. some interesting readings on your powers. I'll show you after the test. While this is only an exercise, you are in a minimal amount of jeopardy. Stay 
Not at all, my child. Scott? Professor, I haven't seen energy readings like this since... Are you all right, Allison? I'm fine, Professor Xavier. And I'm really sorry about destroying the danger room. I, I don't know what happened. I just sort of lost control. Not to worry. This type of thing happens all the time. Besides, I think it gives Beast an excuse to make modifications to the equipment. Well, I've had enough. I'm never setting foot in the danger room again. I understand this was a very trying experience, but at some point you must try again. It's the only way you'll learn to master your powers. But I won't need to learn about my powers if I never use them again. That wouldn't be a wise course of action. I encourage you to take some time off and rest. When you feel better, come back to the danger room and try again. I don't know, Professor Xavier. Let me think about it. Get smacked back to the bullseye! 